y'all do with you and your musicians and uh, slides you put on the program to cause it to have more flavor and um, more interested in what we say and do. Uh, we're, de we're dealing with the subject of prayer and uh, Pastor Brady wanted to start out his first month of practicing and being our pastor with a series on prayer. So we'll be doing this a few more weeks. Um, I'm so glad of the communication that we have with the Lord. He's always there. He never leaves. He never forsakes. And he's a friend that's sick is closer than a brother. And lo, he's with us always, even to the end of this world. So we've been dealing with it, and I think one of the, one of the last verses that we dealt with uh, was Hebrews 11, 6, how that unbelief will hinder our blessing in prayer. That's why it's not heard sometimes and many times iniquity that we haven't faced in our lives and dealt with it will hinder our prayers being answered. So Hebrews eleven six. but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And then not only does unbelief hinder our blessings, sometimes causes our prayers not to be heard, but also known and unjud unjudged iniquity in our life will hinder our prayers. And then the love of pleasure will choke out the avenues of the heart. And when things that are pleasurable to us, we let that substitute for our service and our time for the Lord. And you know, we've always concerned, I think I mentioned it in the, in the last session, that somebody will get a promotion and all of a sudden because of that promotion, they have more to be gone and uh, to be involved in. And that promotion many times supersedes their commitment to the Lord and they forget about their promises to serve the Lord before uh, they were so blessed in their business and with other hobbies that they take up. And it tells us over there in James 4 and 3 and uh, how that pleasures will choke out the avenues of the heart. James 4 and 3 says, Ye ask and receive not because you ask the miss that you may consume it upon your lust. There's things that's in my life, if I had an abundance of it, I would maybe would let that take the place of putting the Lord first in my life. There's things that we all love to do in the flesh. And a lot of things, they certainly aren't sin. They are avenues of pleasure and things 
that, that we can take home and be a part of. So, but we don't need to let anything come that takes away our zeal and our excitement about serving the Lord. I've often said this, and after 60 years of teaching and ministries of different kind, I've told many people that pastoring, um, staying close to people, loving them right where they are, and of course when I say pastoring, that means that we're, we're, we are taking into consideration who is our senior pastor, and certainly we follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit in his heart. But when we allow the things that happen to us in our life uh, that will take up our time, and we turn to that and use our talents and times and resources to, to, to please the body and please the world and to please those that are around us and forget what God has called us to do, it is, uh, it is something that will create an area of sin and disobedience in our life. So you ask James 4, 3, and receive not, because you ask the mist that you may consume it upon your lust. Then 2 Timothy 3, 4, and 5, see, we're getting in the New Testament now. We're in the Old Testament some, but we're in the New Testament now. It says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And it says, from such, turn away. It means don't let another person's lack of commitment hinder you and cause you to not be doing the things that God has called you to do. See, we all make decisions. We all have distractions. The devil can't rob us of our salvation, but I got a saying, but he sure can mess up our day. And sometimes he messes it up by getting us so many distractions that it takes us away from the things that God has called us to do. And what he's called us to do is the number one priority in all of our lives. So it says that when we ask and receive not, and we ask to miss, we may, may consume it with, above, upon, with our lust. It means that we, we enjoy something in the, in the flesh but it doesn't exalt the Lord and it's become too big for us. And then it says, uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 4, and 5, traitors, uh, heady, high-minded, uh, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power. And the scripture says, from such turn away. So let's consider that this week of what we fill our schedule with. God bless you for being with us once again.